I thought we did all right for the first game. Uh, give a lot of credit to the Texas Tech defense. You know, I think there was a lot of improved defense. You know, transition from last year and coming to this year, I think they made a lot of plays. Uh, they look very athletic. But I think as an offense, you know, speaking from the quarterback point of view, that we left a lot of plays out there that could have been easily, you know, turned into points. And uh, it's week one. You see where we stand as an offense. And I mean, you know, we just got to go out there and make plays and execute. Uh, I thought we prepared for them uh, well, you know, as far as, uh, you know, knowing when they go to be. But I mean, they came out and they played good defense. So I mean, you got to get credit to a good defense. You know, they go make plays. And as a quarterback, you know, you got you got to come into the game. You know, when you're playing a good team, they're gonna make plays. But you know, in the same breath, you got to make plays yourself as an offense player. So, I mean, a general statement of the game. I just wanted to say that we did all right. We left a lot of plays out there that we should have been. I'm kind of disappointed because, uh, you know, the plays that we did leave out there on the field, we should have made. You know, that stuff we that stuff you got that stuff you that's got to be automatic. You know, like uh, you know, reads, knowing who we have. Uh, you know, we had a, I have a couple of overthrown balls and. Uh, I mean, that's just stuff we just got to hit. Brad, thanks for coming out. Um, how hard was it to run the ball today? Um, I think we struggled a little bit running the ball. Uh, you know, give credit to the, long, the, uh, the good defensive front they had. You know, they're big guys, long, they're fast. So, I mean, when, when you're trying to run the ball against long, athletic defensive linemen, it's going to be hard. I don't care who you are, but when you got a long, athletic interior players, man, it's going to be pretty hard. So, I give a lot of credit to that front seven. I mean, I thought they were pretty good. I mean, you know, saying last year, they, you know, they, you know, they won a very good defense to come in this year. Man, I really thought they looked pretty good. You know, as a quarterback, I really thought they looked pretty good. Hi, and uh, I guess with uh, this year being the first year for uh, your team to run the option, um, what what do you think went wrong, and what do you think went right with that? Uh, we got the, we got we got some looks that we uh, that we practiced for, but then again. I come back and say, you know, they have some long, they have some good defensive ends that can run. And when you got defensive ends that can run, I know it's pretty, it's pretty hard to uh, try to run the option, especially with the option you're trying to get to the outside, you're trying to, you're trying to get to the edge. You got guys that can run on the defense. You got, uh, you know, got defensive ends that can run. So it's going to be pretty hard. But I thought we executed the option real well. We read it, we read it pretty good, and we got, we made a couple plays into it. You know, we coming underneath the. Uh, you know, sometimes, you know, we got a little read, got a little break when they overran it, and we, cut, we had a chance to cut it, across, you know, cut it back underneath. So, I mean, it was like, it was, you know, it was all right. I, I give it an average day for an option. We made plays, then again, you know, Texas Tech made plays as well. What can you do from this game, take from this game, while you practice for next week's game? Um, I'm pushing the tempo. As a quarterback, I'm going in and I'm pushing the tempo. I say that because uh, when you push the tempo as an offense, the hurry up offense, you kind of get the uh, upper hand on defense. And when, you, when I say upper hand on defense, you get them. When we don't, when we don't sub, the defense can't sub either. So you, they kind of keep the same personnel on the field, and maybe we, maybe we in the personnel that they probably, uh, you know, probably want another defensive guy in. You know, say we're in the pa we're in the passing per personnel, say eleven or ten. You know, they got, you know, they out there in the base defense. So I mean, we hurrying up and we just getting to the ball, and I mean we pushing the tempo, kind of, you know, kind of keeping the defense on the heels. That's the thing, you know, a lot of good offenses, you know, do push the tempo, you know, kind of have the upper hand, and that that, that kind of helps with rhythm. Quarterback and offense is all about, you know, being in rhythm. And I thought that's one of the things we could not, you know, could not get to tonight, get in rhythm. We make a couple good plays, we make a couple big plays, but then again, with us not being in rhythm, you know, we kind of miss, we kind of miss assignment here and there, and, I, and, and drive killers. And when you play a good team like that, I mean, you can't have a lot of drive killers. So, I mean, you know, looking at it overall, you just got to push the tempo. Offensive, I think we just got to push the tempo.